that's when shit's gonna get wild, folks. All right, so today I'm gonna be trying a very interesting challenge video. So I saw Michael Finch's video, I'll leave his video right here. He made it look like a freaking breeze and I just have a feeling that that is not how today's gonna to go with my skin. Order of the products and the way I do things and the techniques I use are super important with my skin because some things just really don't work. So I feel like having wet makeup brushes, I didn't even say what we're doing today, I'm gonna be using wet makeup brushes to apply an entire full face of makeup. So I feel like this is gonna be a massive disaster. So I have a bunch of brushes here. I've got my cup of water for wetting and a bunch of makeup over here that we're gonna use. I'm kind of nervous right now. So if you're excited for this video and you enjoy while you're watching, you can give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Whew. Okay, folks, so we are gonna start out with primer here. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better All Day Primer. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this brush for primer. Here we go, we're dipping. So I'm gonna squeeze these out a little bit just so the water's not like dripping, you know, down my face. Definitely wet. So I'm just gonna dip into the primer and evenly spread it across my face. I need a mirror here. Oh, something smells weird. Does that primer smell weird? It actually feels really nice. It just feels like kind of cooling. It feels very relaxing. I feel like I'm getting a facial right now. And it seems to be going into my skin fine. I'm getting like a weird smell. For foundation, I wanted to use one that was full coverage and more matte, just out of curiosity to see if it shears it out at all or what happens, who knows. This is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Foundation in the shade Shell. Can't remember if this is my shade. Might need to mix this, but I'm gonna add in Alabaster. I have one shade of this, like a tiny sample size in my travel makeup bag thing that I've been mixing with the Shiseido Skin Synchro Foundation, which I did a review on. And those two mixed look so good throughout the day. They like held up amazing on my skin. Just get it on my face with my finger. Hopefully that matches. This is a BH Cosmetics foundation brush. I'm not as scared for like the foundation as I am for when I start applying powders. That's when shit's gonna get wild, folks. Okay, let's blend this out. I might need to add a little bit more alabaster in there. This is a full... <laughs> It's getting pretty streaky. Oh, maybe I should be more worried about this. Oh man. Wow, that looks rough. Okay. Might need to add a little bit more of the darker one, actually. I am going to be using a powder, though, and the powder looks a little bit too dark. I wasn't scared for this part, but I should have been. So it's basically making it, like sit on top of my skin. There's like little droplets of stuff on my skin and it's also super, super streaky. What the heck? I'm gonna try it and just stipple. It's like you blend and then it, as it's drying or something, something weird is happening. This could be super dependent on the foundation you use. I'm guessing it is because if you have an oil-based foundation, which I did not check if this is oil-based, it says oil-free. That's good. So this should... Be okay unless there's another ingredient in there that just doesn't want to work with agua. Maybe I'll let it dry a little bit. Yeah, it gets worse the more I touch it. That definitely sheared it out. Like, it looks like light coverage right now. Totally sheared it out. I'm not getting, like, any coverage over here. I think it's just getting significantly crappier the more I touch it with the wet brush. So let's go in for concealer. So I'm going to use the KKW number 3. If I use the one, I usually have to mix something in with it, but I think the three shade will be fine. I'm using my normal concealer brush today for this and wetting it. This is like good motivation to uh, wash your brushes. I figured the KKW one might be good to do with this because it is super full coverage, but it's also definitely way more on the matte, kind of like dry side. So hopefully, you know, a little moisture can't hurt us here. Oh, that's going pretty well so far. Much better than the foundation. Now I'm gonna have like really full coverage under eyes though and no coverage anywhere else. So I'm gonna kind of spread that down a bit. Okay, this is going way better than the foundation. My nose looks very red compared to the rest of my face right now. So I'm gonna just bring whatever's left over, over my nose. My skin is already weird as shit with powder, like very selective, particular. A lot of powders don't work, a lot of loose powders don't work, a lot of pressed powders don't work. 
so I have no idea how this is going to go. I basically just chose a pressed powder because I think that'll be the best chance that we have for it to go look good since loose powder already doesn't look good on my skin. I just chose one that I didn't mind like ruining basically. It's the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC. So I'm going to use my Milani Powder Bronzer Brush. I use this for both powder and bronzer. I really love it. Wow, this thing just got like five pounds heavier. Holy shit, this one's real heavy. I swear that feels like I'm lifting weights right now. All right, here we go. Okay, it's on there. And let's apply. Oh, this is a great look. It's like orange patchiness. Why is it turning orange? I don't think that's just the shade. It is adding some coverage. And you know what? It actually doesn't look as bad when I keep going over it and like adding more. It doesn't look that bad at all. It's actually looking way better than this side. I'm curious to see if that gets weird when it starts drying, but right now it's looking really good, actually. Like, it looks very smooth. It doesn't look like I have a powder on. Is this one made to be wet dry? I didn't even look. It doesn't say on here. I don't think this was made to be a wet dry powder, but it looks really good. I'm going in for another dip here, and then I'm going to blend that out. It's weird. When you first put it on wet, it looks like it's going to be super patchy and orange, but then, like, as you keep going over it, it looks good. Brush is still wet feeling. My forehead doesn't look as good. The brush might have been a little bit more wet because I feel like I have a full on like water splotch in the powder now. But overall, I mean, besides the shade, it definitely looks better than without the wet powder. So in the past, my skin gets real weird when I go from a powder finish to a cream. Like if I try and put a cream bronzer or a cream highlight on top of any kind of powder, it usually doesn't work, but I feel like I'm going to be kind of screwed either way right now because I do have a powder finish. So if I go in with a cream, it'll probably be bad, but if I wet the powder bronzer, then it might be worse. Oh, I honestly don't know which one's going to go better. After that powder, I'm kind of thinking the powder might do better. This is the Catrice Sun Bronzer in the shade Medium Bronze. I'm using a Catrice blush too, but I just was trying to choose like cheap ones that if they get ruined, I don't really care. <laughs> Whoa, that was super powdery. What the heck? Tons of it just like flew up. Uh-oh. Ooh, this looks straight up orange. What the heck? Okay, it's actually blending out pretty nicely. The shade I think is a little bit orange. <laughs> it's not looking bad. I'm so in shock. So I don't think I'm going to powder my under eyes, by the way. I didn't say that because the powder I have is too dark and I just think that it's going to look better if I don't powder my under eyes. Okay, now I feel like we got it in the bag with blush, you know? What? Dipping in. This is Catrice Levian Rose blush. I do like this blush, so I don't know why I chose this one. <laughs> I feel like not a whole lot is coming off, so I'm going to add some more. I just dipped back in. This one you have to like really build up when it's wet. I feel like it's turning pretty sheer, but it does look nice and subtle and just like a flush. It looks kind of like a cream blush. And because it has like a sheen to it, it is sitting on the skin really pretty when it's wet. I would say overall, like the finish and the texture is really nice on all these. It's just harder to blend. My forehead looks so like blurred and smooth. I just realized I could be using a pomade and a brush right now. Should I be doing that? Okay, I've dug out my pomade, so we are gonna wet that to use for my brows. I'm just gonna do the same thing just as far as like where I stopped on the other eyes so I can make them look even. So I'm gonna wet the Anastasia number 12 brush. I think this is gonna go totally fine. This one in my mind makes sense that it would just work. It'll probably just be more pigmented because it's just a pomade, but you know, I have been wrong this entire video. <laughs> That seems basically the same. It might look a little bit more pigmented than usual, but I can't totally tell. It just kind of feels the same as a normal pomade. For highlighter, I'm going to use ColourPop Fanny Pack. This is their Super Shock Highlighter. These ones are like kind of creams already, but I mean, if you've tried any ColourPop formulas, you know what I mean. But they're, they're cream, but they still have like a powder kind of feel to them and a powder finish. I'm going to use this AOA brush. This is F19 and give it a good swirl. I would guess that this is going to look really good just because it'll probably make the highlight pop more. Kind of like when you wet a metallic shadow. Okay, I feel like it looks about the same as it normally does. Hmm, okay, wait. Just kidding. Maybe it's just the light. I don't know. But that side looks more intense. All right, I feel like I just look very fresh right now. 
I'm gonna use this brush to go in with the eye primer. I'm gonna use Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot, dip in. I think this will probably just make it a little bit less dry. Mine's already kind of dry, so I don't think this will make too much difference. Yeah, it basically feels exactly the same. I think it's just slightly less crusty. Okay, how do we think this eyeshadow is gonna go? Eyeshadow is probably gonna be the hardest just because I don't know how the heck we're gonna be blending. So far, the powders have kind of surprised me, so we'll see, but I'm gonna use the Pixie Chloe Morello palette. I'm gonna start out with this shade and put it into the crease. Ooh, that just turned it like dark brown in the pan. I'm kind of scared. Seems like it's lifting up the MAC paint pot. It's kind of getting like all, you know, matted in the pan right there, which typically happens, but it's hard to pick up some more shadow. Then we're gonna dip into that brown shade. I'm gonna try and just get half of the pan so I can use the other half when I go back and wet it so it doesn't get all messed up again. Like it doesn't feel that different. I'm gonna wet my brush again just in case it's not wet enough, but it doesn't feel like that different than normally blending eyeshadows. It's definitely wet. Oh, that one looks, oh, this one was more wet for sure. So that one looks like darker and yeah. That one definitely looks a bit patchier and it is harder to blend. So I'm gonna add a little bit more just to get the same kind of deepness. My brush is very wet now. So I'm just gonna even it out, even out the shittiness, you know? I think this part's probably gonna look really good cause I'm just gonna use one of the metallic shades and it'll probably just make it really pop. So let's start out with this one right here. Okay, I think this is gonna be good. Wow, that looks very like icy. Definitely made it look a little bit less champagne and a little bit more like cool toned. It almost looks like a white. Okay, in between those two shades, I'm gonna take this bronzy one right here. I'm just gonna press in between and try and like fade those two together. Maybe, maybe not. It's definitely like making them like matte, but also lighter. This is challenging. I'm gonna use the same brush, but use that first matte lighter brown shade we started with, if I can get any out. And tap over here just to hopefully blend a little bit. This eye is tragic. Hmm. I'm really not liking this like icy blue situation happening. So I'm gonna try and go over with this gold shade. Compared to this eye, it looks a little bit warmer. My lids are starting to look like there's a lot of layers happening. This eye looks so much worse than this one. I mean, they both <laughs> don't look great, but the eyes are definitely pretty hard. For my inner corner, I'm gonna take this lightest shade right here. Hopefully it doesn't look blue. I do like this palette, by the way. I'm not using this because I don't like it. It's just I don't reach for this one as often as some of my others. I'm actually gonna try to use this black as an eyeliner because sometimes if you wet a black shadow or just use a plain black shadow, that can look really good for liner. I'm just running that close to my lashes. Ooh, that looks nice. Natural, but added some definition. Wow, I like that. I'm gonna use this as like an eyeliner down here. First, I'm actually just gonna use just this brush because I don't wanna apply a whole lot more product. I kinda just wanna work with what I've already got down. I'm gonna apply some mascara. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of a cream colored liner to my waterline. Should've done this before mascara, but it's okay. All right, so I literally never use lip brush to apply lip product. Like I think I've done that maybe like five times in my entire life. So I'm gonna go in with a liquid lipstick kind of product, but then I'm gonna use this brush and wet it to like dab one of the eyeshadows over top. Ooh, I haven't worn this in a long time. This is Makeup Forever 107. I think I'm actually gonna wet the bronzer just because my shirt is really like warm and I feel like my eyes are pretty cool. So I kind of want to bring it all together. <laughs> like all of my makeup is so uneven right now. I'm gonna go back in with the gold shade in here, this one. Do the same thing with that brush. I just need it a little bit. I don't know, need something. Whoa. That's kind of fun. Whoa, my lips feel hella dry. All right, so I think this is about as good as I'm gonna get today. I think I am thoroughly shocked by the powder. I'm so shocked. Like, I wish you guys could see this in real life because it looks so smooth on my forehead. The eyes are just hard, like it is challenging. If you guys want a challenge at home, 
wet your brushes and try and do eyeshadow. It's not easy, especially with the darker shades. I feel like this eye turned out a bit better than this eye, but it's definitely still like, you know, not super great. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna have the products I used on my face in case you wanna recreate this look listed down below in the description box. If you're new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. I always have full details down below in the description box on any jewelry, rings, earrings, all that. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.